A government shutdown looms just one week from today and Congress remains at an impasse on how to avoid that scenario. Washington correspondent Trevor Shirley has more. And today the federal government begins the formal preparation process for a government shutdown should one happen. There's no sign that Congress is close to avoiding a shutdown. The clock is ticking, and so what do we do next? Congress returns to Washington Monday, with a handful of federal agencies set to shutter March 1st and the remaining ones March 8th, leaving lawmakers little time to broker a deal. I hope we can do that. I don't think anybody wants to see um, you know, a quote-unquote government shutdown here, but we've got to actually move towards a regular appropriations process. A shutdown would close all but the most essential functions of government, along with shuttering national parks and museums. Both sides have tried to assure the public a shutdown won't happen, but that's appearing less likely. Do you want to close Mount Rushmore so the southern border can be open? Hard right Republicans are pressuring Speaker Mike Johnson to reject any government funding bill that doesn't include new border security protections. You either secure the border or you get no money for the government. But even some Democrats who support border reform say the disruptions caused by a government shutdown aren't worth that fight. It is so challenging to get anything done in Congress because I work with Republican colleagues who simply don't want to fix things. A bipartisan spending deal could be released as early as Sunday, but it's still not clear whether House Speaker Mike Johnson would accept that agreement. Reporting in Washington, I'm Trevor Shirley.